So now what I wanted to do today with you guys is you guys worked on making a flowchart for this convention, right? Yeah. Okay. I have a friend who does a really cool thing that I wanted to show you guys, and we'll do it here, and then you guys maybe can do it on your own later, okay? But can you guess what I have here? What does this look, stuff look like? It's the pieces from the flowchart. Now, what kind of shapes do we have? I see diamonds and rectangles. Excellent. We have diamonds and we have rectangles. Now, this is something that's good to know that is true of every flowchart. This is flowcharts are something that are used in all sorts of areas of science. We're just using it in spelling science. And if it's a real flowchart, it always uses the same convention. And that is diamond shapes are decision boxes, rectangles are action boxes. So when you see a, di a diamond shape, you know you're gonna ask a question. And when you see a rectangle, you know you're gonna be told to do something. So when you do this on your own, what I would recommend is that you take those flowcharts that you had, flowcharts that you had, and you cut the pieces up. And you put them in envelopes and you turn them upside down on the ground. And then in groups, you're gonna do what I'm gonna do with you here. And so the here. And so the first thing is to pick a diamond or a rectangle to look at. What would you like to look at? Uh, diamond. Diamond, okay. So I'll take this one here and let's see. Ah, now I'm going to read this out loud for you. You might be able to read it yourself, but uh, for the moment I'll read it. Is there just one vowel letter before that consonant letter? Do you recognize that question? Yes. Yeah. How many answers to that question are there? Two. Two. Either it's yes or it's no, isn't it? Those are the only options. So let's do a rectangle. Let's see what happens here. Ah, well, that's pretty easy. We have to start with the word sum, don't we? So that one, we, that one is quite easy. It tells us where we're starting. And I guess, oops, there's nothing to choose here. So we're just going to put an arrow coming out of the start button. Now this one, we don't know where it goes yet. Where, there we go. Okay. Now, do you want to do another rectangle or a diamond? Diamond. Okay, let's do this one. Does the base or stem have a final single consonant letter? Whoa. What do you think that question is going to be? Uh, you're very smart. There it is. Exactly. So now, which of these questions? So these are the questions. These are the actions. Which of the questions do you think goes first after you start with the word sum? Okay, so I'm going to put that here. And we said that there were two possible answers, right? So if we start with a vowel letter, the answer is one of two things. What's the possible answers? What are the possible answers? What can we say? Okay, so let's say I'm going to put yes next to one and no next to the other. If we say yes, what do we do next? And if we say no, what do we do next? Whichever question you want to answer. If we say no, which of these do we do? Skip start the subject. That's right. If the answer is no, we, we discovered the other day that no matter what, you can't double if it doesn't start with a vowel letter. So we can do that. But if the answer is yes, what do we have to ask? That was the last letter before the consonant letter. She's talking about the vowel letter. She chose the vowel this letter. One. This one. Yes. Okay, so let's try that. If we put that here, is 
they're just one vowel letter before that constant. Well, which consonant letter are we talking about? talking about. I have an idea here. It says, is there just one vowel letter before that consonant letter? And I don't know what that is referring to. I'm thinking, what if we tried this one next? Because this one says, This one says, does the base or stem have a final single consonant? Um, and then, what if that isn't true? We, well, we're going to have two answers to that one. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. So that could be no or yes. What happens if the base or stem doesn't have a final single consonant? Look at this word here. What is that word? Yes. So let's ask this. Does the vowel begin with a, does the suffix begin with the vowel letter in resting? Yes. Does the base or stem have a final single consonant? No. Because there's an ST. Do we double? No. So I think what happens is we just, we, we just figured out this. If this is no, we just go boop, over here. But if the answer is yes, we still have one more question. And this is what you were saying. Is there just one vowel letter before that consonant letter? It's talking about this consonant letter. So let's take a look at booked. Does the suffix begin with a vowel letter in booked? Yes. Okay. Um, does the base or stem have a final single consonant letter? Yes, the K is all by itself. Is there just one vowel letter before that consonant letter? No. Uh, how do you spell book? Double K. Oh, you guys are awesome. So this one. You guys are awesome. So this one doesn't have just one vowel letter and we don't double. So now we can say, okay, if the answer is no, we just do that. But if the answer is yes, what do we do? What do we do? What do we think? All right. Excellent. And we can see that is what happened like in scrubber, but not in scrubs. Um, and saddest, but not in sadly. So when you do this, you need to have a set of word sums that have all of the examples of the reasons why you might not double a consonant. And the reasons you might not double it is if you start with a consonant suffix, if the base or stem doesn't start with a single consonant, or if there's a, a double vowel before it. Now, this is kind of a funny looking flow chart, but it, it works and we could test it against our word sums here. But once you have it organized like this, then you know the order and you can organize your flow chart into uh, a way that looks maybe a little bit more organized. Do you think you guys? bit more organized. Do you think you guys could do that if you cut up pieces of flowchart and arrows and, and use your, your word subs? Yeah.
Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Well, that was excellent. You guys are so smart. It's, it's amazing how much you can do. And am I right that? Am I right?